How's it going, everybody? It's the Black Car Guru back with another video. Now, we need to talk about these GS300s. These things are perfect for building whatever the hell you want to build. Doesn't matter if it's a drag car, a drift car, a time attack, circle track, uh, doesn't matter. When it comes to these things, they're powered by the 2JZ GE VVTi. And despite whatever you heard, this thing is literally just another version, well, the detuning version of a GTE block. All right, so here's a GS300 rod. And here's the SC300 rod. Their rods are a lot beefier. And if you don't want to go buy any forged rods, it'll be best to just go snag one of these things up, you know, for a good price. You can get, get them from like $200 to about $500, depending on where you go. Because, I mean, these things work very good. They can handle at least eight to a 1,000 horsepower. It's simple. Now, as far as the pistons, you can go to superstore.com or you can go to realstreetperformance.com and get some of their forged pistons but make sure they're 86 millimeter the standard size for them brian crower racing cams adjustable cam gear springs and retainers thousand cc injectors when it comes to the turbo kit stay away from cx racing because their turbo kits don't come exactly how they say they do you're better off building your own turbo kit get a 72 millimeter turbo or 68 doesn't matter but build your own goddamn turbo because the, from what i've heard these things a lot actually blow your shit up as far as your ecu you're definitely gonna need an aftermarket one emu black is gonna be your go-to now what this beautiful piece of machinery does is it piggybacks off your stock ecu allowing you to use your automatic transmission now there's no point in making all of this power if you can't stop it you definitely need to stop it this specific brake kit allows you to use a ls400 or an isf big brake kit with your gs300 now these gs300s need some work suspension wise so it'll be best for you to start off with some coilovers you know you can adjust them to whatever height you want to adjust them at and it ain't even got to be bc racing coilovers they could be you know any brand you want they range from at least 500 to 80 dollars to about 1100 dollars. so it all depends on what it is you prefer but from what I've seen, the BC Racing coilovers are going to be your best bit. So yeah, the GS300. Like I said, you don't need to do a GTE swap. Because basically the GE and the GTE are the same thing. It's just the rods in the GE are a lot weaker. So the horsepower limit for those stock blocks, you know, them stock engines and these GSs, they're about 400 before the rods just spit themselves at the bottom of the block. So... 350 will be the safest horsepower number you can run with these things. And yeah, love you.